So hi guys, I'm outside the 747-8 Superjet. I'm just going to go into the forward cargo hold to show you where the gaseous oxygen cylinders, the bottles, are kept on the 747-8 and the 747-400 ERF2. So like I mentioned to you before, on the 747 we have a gaseous oxygen system. We don't have oxygen generators like some of the modern aircraft that you see around these days. So we've got oxygen bottles and I'll show you where they are in the forward cargo hold. Let's go and take a look. I've got to be quick as they're loading quite a bit of cargo here. Go up these stairs. So hi guys, uh, good morning. I'm in the uh, forward cargo hold of the Boeing 747-8 Superjet. And what I want to show you here is where we store the oxygen bottles. Like I said to you, the 747 has gaseous oxygen and the gaseous oxygen is contained in the forward cargo hold. So I'll show you now. So as you can see here, I'll show you what the oxygen bottle looks like, of course. There it is. The valve on the top. So that's where the oxygen bottles are stored. Just put the uh, latches back on. So that's where they're stored on the 747. I'll just stand out of the way here as they're loading cargo. So the cargo is in place. They put the locks up. Make sure it doesn't move. Now the lock. And that pallet is now secure. So I'll get off here. And uh, I wanted to show you the oxygen bottle located in there. Okay then, later. So guys, as part of the external walk around inspection, as the pilots will always check this. See that green disc over there? That green disc there. Now that green disc is what we check on the ground as part of the external inspection to make sure that the oxygen bottles have not thermally discharged. If for some reason this aeroplane was uh, in some very very hot weather or the oxygen bottles for some reason in that area it overheated there's a thermal discharge to stop the oxygen bottle exploding and what we do before this dispatch is we make sure that green disc is visible if it isn't then we know that one or, two or more bottles have discharged their oxygen 
as part of the inspection. Apart from that, inside the aeroplane, we've got pressure indication for the oxygen system anyway. But uh, this is part of it to make sure. On the Dash 8, let's go back to Hong Kong. So guys, and then when you come, when we come on board, how do we check the oxygen cylinder pressures? It's on the lower ICAS, I'll show you here. So the minimum we accept is 1400 and 1400 on this aircraft. So that's the oxygen once we get on board that we check prior to our departure, past the oxygen test that you've already seen. So that's what's on board in the flight deck. Uh, that's the way we check our oxygen. Now you know. Later.